Hi. <laughs> Hi. How y'all doing, people? Hey, y'all, my world cruise followers. Today is day 77, 11 weeks, yep. and 2.75 months. Yep, yep, yep. So we're going to do a little update. Yep. Right now we're in the middle of the Pacific. Where are we going? We're going to French Polynesia. Morea, right? Yep, and then Tahiti. And then Tahiti. So um, well, the main thing that we're going to talk about, though, today is uh, how everything's gone so far. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think? I think it's gone great. Still loving it. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just enjoying every minute of it, except for when I get a little seasick. It's not, it's not so fun, but still, you know. I'd rather be Which seasick here so than seasick someplace else. You know, it doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> Thanks to the little patches. Right. So um, we just left Hawaii a few days ago, as you guys probably already know. Um, and I had a message this morning from a friend of mine who um, wanted the scoop on the trip. So it started me thinking that we really haven't done an update and oh, yeah. talked in general about the past so far. So mm -hmm. let me ask you, um, what is your favorite place we've been so far? So far, it's got to be Antarctica. Uh, but there's so many other places just because Antarctica is so unique and, and you know, so, mm -hmm. so mysterious and you know very few people have actually been on the continent and uh, we, we unfortunately we didn't get on the continent either but we still got there to, to Paradise Cove or Paradise Bay Paradise Bay and uh, it's, it's just beautiful beautiful the, the icebergs we saw the color of blue is just amazing and the icebergs something that you don't really get to see anywhere else right um, yeah. No, and I, I don't even know if the pictures justify it. It's give it, give it or do it justice just because of the, it's the very unique shade of blue and the brightness that it is. And I agree, Antarctica was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. But um, since it's so hard to have a favorite because so many yeah. have been amazing, yeah. Um, yeah. Rio, that was pretty amazing. Yep. Another yep. one for you? Um, uh, Montevideo. Mm -hmm. Also, a good one. Um, Buenos Aires. Uh, it just uh, every place we've gone has really been been so neat. And even though once we got onto the uh, Pacific side and we're supposed to be going to uh, Machu Picchu, unfortunately we didn't make it all the way to Machu Picchu, but we got to Cusco. Mm -hmm. And uh, due to you know, political climate, there was some, some, some strikes going on on the railroad that went up to Machu Picchu. We didn't get to go, but. Royal Caribbean, you know, quickly put together some other little things for us to do while we we're in Cusco. And it's, it, it really turned out nice. Still want to see Machu Picchu, but they did a great job as far as adjusting since we ran into those those issues. Right. And for those people who weren't in Cusco with us, um, there was quite a bit to do in Lima. And I, from what yeah. I understand from the people yeah. who participated in that, they had a yeah. really great time. Yeah. That was the day we got back from, from Cusco. We got on the ship. We were just kind of tired. Didn't feel like sitting in a bus for a long time again. Yeah, because it was like two hours one way and two hours back. I, I do kind of hate that we did miss that, but <laughs> I, I just couldn't. Right. Pardon me. So I'm going to agree. Uh, Buenos Aires, Montevideo. Yeah. Um, there are so many amazing ports. Uh, Arica, Chile. Yeah. Oh, my oh. goodness. The festival, the sun festival that they were having, yeah. one, that just happened to be happening yeah. or starting the day that yeah. we got yeah. there yeah. was just amazing. Uh, the dancers, the colors of the outfits, the um, you know the fact that they were live, you know, live casting that on their um, local television was yeah, pretty cool too. Yeah, they kept saying we could hear them, the, the people that were on the this loudspeakers announcing what was going on yeah. there at the event, saying "Welcome to the Serenade of the Seas." You know? <laughs> Lee and that I was walked really off. Cool. We literally walked off the ship, walked through the port gates to to the, the outside area, you know. The city, the perimeter, yeah, and it the party was right there, <laughs> and it was a party. It's one of those three day parties, and they were just starting it, and they were going to go to like four in the morning and start again the next day. And because I think it went on day. for like three days. Yeah, three days, yeah. three days. That's that's a party. And we actually we left the party for a little while. We wanted to yeah. explore in the city a little, yeah. and the rest yeah. of the city was pretty dead um, yep. because. Everybody was at the yeah, festival, was but it was nice and quiet. Yep. And a friend of ours was kind of on a mission to find some stuff um, that he wanted to buy there. So but we found a little restaurant. Mm -hmm. 
We did. Little cafe, and uh, Lee actually did a video about it. But yep. uh, it was it was a neat little cafe. It was just a wonderful time. Wonderful time. Okay, so uh, what? Ushuaia. 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 Oh, Ushuaia. Love Ushuaia. <laughs> um, the, uh, so incredible, and very, yeah. and looks very much like uh, my home state of Alaska. Very much. I'll take your word on it. I haven't been there yet. Yeah. One day. But uh, it's it, everything's been great. That, that we, we finished the Americas tour in LA, and uh, of course we had to say goodbye to a bunch of friends who were just on that first part, and uh, we, we miss we, we miss them. There's you know, several groups of people that uh, we really got to have a, a nice conversation, nice nice relationship with. Bill and Lindy, since I know you're going to watch this eventually, we miss you. Yep. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll see y'all later in the. Yes. In the cruise, like y'all kind of mentioned, y'all might <laughs> love to see it. Um, but uh, what else? Uh, we finished in LA and got the more people came on, obviously. And we've gotten to meet a few of them now since we're we're uh, out of Hawaii. And we're basically what, almost two weeks into this. Has it been that? I don't know. Almost, it's been that. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, yeah. Getting close. I'm losing close. track of time. Ten, ten days to two weeks. I'm keeping a journal. I write in it every day. And if I didn't, I would really lose track of time and everything would blend in together. But oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I was going to kind of do a switch. And like, what's your least favorite thing so far? I don't know. Uh, Miss Tenderport. That, well, that's, that's my that's kind of hard. Yeah, at least favorite. But that, yeah, that's, that was all due to weather. Yeah. Understandable, um, but you know. It is. It is. We do have a tender port tomorrow, uh, but look at that beautiful weather out there. I, I don't think we're going to have an issue. You know, it's French Polynesia. You know, I don't know that they have too much bad weather. I don't know. It is a the ship is moving a little bit today, little but bit, I, yeah, the swells uh, don't look that big, so we'll see. No, it's not. And really, it's not that bad. It's just the, the patch I've had it on for several days. I think it's starting to wear out. So that's kind of what got my head going. Plus, we were in the theater this morning up in the front of the ship, and it's yeah. enclosed, and you know, head just started swimming. Ooh, so here's another really cool thing. Um, the reason why we were in the theater this mm -hmm. morning is we mm -hmm. had a meeting um, with the other content creators. So we do this yep. once a week, once every two weeks. We just kind of get together. And um, lately, we've been doing focus topics. So today, we were talking about monetization of uh, blogs, blogs, YouTube, TikTok, all of that. And it was just, um, it was really neat having everybody get together and um, provide their opinion and their expertise because we don't all do the same thing. We're all doing something. Even if we're on the same platforms, we do things a little bit differently. And uh, so uh, doing an exchange of information there and kind of trying to help each other out. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and they're all good people. We've, we've really enjoyed getting to know them and uh, doing yeah. things with them. And uh, as a matter of fact, tomorrow we're going on shore with, with Brandy. Who else is going on there? Uh, Brandy and Shannon are the only two I know for Shannon. sure. But we're doing, it's a yeah. cooking class thing yeah. and we get yeah. to eat the stuff that we cook. So um, I'm really excited about that. I am too. I am too. <laughs> and there again, spending time with the others. You know, but like I said, they're all just wonderful people with, really got to know a lot of them and they're just great. So uh, one question that we get asked a lot is um, any regrets so far? Zero. No, None. no. Right here. <laughs> zero. Zero. <laughs> we definitely do this again if they offered it again, assuming that we could afford it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that is true. In terms of uh, Meeting, it's hard, you know, as you get older, it's really hard to make really close friends. And when you're basically, older, we're talking about older. yeah, exactly. Um, when you're basically living with the people um, you're surrounded with every day, it's a, yeah. uh, it's a lot easier. Yeah. And because you have um, not so much free time, because actually we're all busy, but we're doing similar things. So it mm -hmm. makes sense to get together to do those things. Um, yeah. Sharing meals is really easy because it's literally yeah. just, hey, walk up a flight of stairs and there you are. Yeah. The other evening I was talking with Anthony. Uh, Anthony Antoine? Yes, Anthony Antoine. Shout out to Anthony. Um, he and I were talking about it and how the days in Hawaii seemed like a vacation, yeah. which Lee and I have talked about. But that seemed like a vacation, and being on the ship has become our everyday life. Yeah. Um, I started <laughs> noticing that back in the, uh, the first segment uh, before LA. But uh, it, it, it's really kind of settled in to be, you know, Day in day out activities, or you know, it's just, it's just the way of life right now, which is very yeah. nice. Um, 
since I have this. The ship is, uh, the crew and, and uh, staff are doing fantastic on the ship. This is, I'm sure you guys have seen this from other people's posts. It's the cruise compass. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you a list of, there's a good to know, things to do, wellness and retail therapy, which is all sales, um, different entertainment options. And entertainment and the music and dancing are the two biggest sections, which is really nice. So basically this comes to us around Every five day. or six o'clock in the evening. For the, for the next day. For the next day. And then you just kind of, oh yeah, that looks interesting. And so you know what time you need to be ready and where you need to be to have fun at those different events. Yeah, and, and majority of it's also on the, uh, the Royal Caribbean app that uh, mm -hmm. those of you who sell Royal Caribbean, you're familiar with it. And uh, it, it's, it's nice. Yeah. And there are, and I'm sure all cruise lines do that too, but oh, yeah. there's also yeah. some things that aren't in the cruise compass that our friends are organizing. So yep. I don't think, uh, uh, Brandy, Shannon, Pat, and I don't remember her father's name. I, I don't either. Anyway. The, um, Dad. <laughs> Mr. Dad. Mr. He's, Dad. He's Mr. Dad. Everyone's been calling him Dad. <laughs> anyway. Great, great people. They organized um, a high tea for Black History Month. And, um, this was the second one. Oh, the second one. They, okay. did, they did a black uh, uh, high tea and went over Black History earlier in the month. Okay. This was the second one. So this was the second one. I didn't know there was one earlier. Um, but talked about different facts, um, Black History facts. Mm -hmm. And because we had... Uh, a diverse audience, not all of them from the United States. Um, a lot of people, they brought um, historical facts that were relevant to people from the UK too, which yeah. was really cool. Yeah, Danielle. Yeah, Danielle. Yeah. Uh, singing Sailor, for those of yeah. you guys who don't know that. Um, so he was at the event too. And um, I think there was supposed to be an arts and crafts thing today, but um, that's getting right. rescheduled for another date and time. I'm guessing the next sea day, yeah. since tomorrow we're going to be in port. But there's, um, again, like I said, um, and the, the content creators group, that stuff isn't published in the um, Cruise yeah. Compass because it's not an official activity. So we just sort of um, arrange that in yeah. whatever empty space we can find. <laughs> so today it was in the theater. The yeah, doors were open. Very and unique. We, we, we looked all over the ship trying to find an open space. And there were so many things going on. There were no other open spaces. See? So we, no yeah. boring time. And we got, we, our meeting actually got cut. Normally we go for about an hour, sometimes even mm -hmm. a little more. And uh, so from 11 to 12.30, there was nothing technically going on in the theater, but at around a quarter to 12, they started prepping for the 12.30 event. So we kind of got pushed out because they were being very yeah. <laughs> um, But it was still a lot of fun. It was, it was. And we had, we had some new people in the group today. We really enjoyed that. There again, it's always good, just the, the group getting together and, yep. and talking and sharing the information and you know the tips and tricks of whatever's decided for that particular day is the subject. Yep. But, uh, you know, just seeing each other. Sometimes sometimes we can go a couple of days and not even see people. Yeah, true. But you don't, I mean, we're also connected through um, WhatsApp, WhatsApp groups and Facebook groups and stuff. So if I, if we want to find each other, that's not difficult at all. Yeah. Okay, so so the bottom line is we're, having, we're still having a blast. Yep. The trip is still epic. Yep. Um, we have too many things that are our favorites to have a favorite. There are a couple of things that we don't like, mm -hmm. the missed tender ports, but yeah. it's a safety thing, so we get it. Yep. And uh, we absolutely would do this again if yeah. given the opportunity. Yeah. And if, yeah. assuming and we could afford it. Yeah. That's the big one. <laughs> okay. um, so I hope that is good for a, for a wrap yeah, up. I, I did believe so. And, Anything uh, else you want to add? No, I just want to say hi to all our friends and family back home. We miss yep. you. We love you all. And, uh, Wish you were here with us. We do. We wish, <laughs> we wish this ship could be a whole lot bigger, but then it wouldn't be, wouldn't be the same like that anyway. It could yeah. get to a lot of small ports. And that's why they chose uh, the, Serenade, uh, the yeah. Serenade of the Sea, the Radiance class, is small enough to get into a lot of these ports that uh, the bigger ships can't. And uh, it's, it's really set up very well. It's, yeah. it's nice to been used. Anyway, thank you for yep. watching, and uh, we'll do another update maybe that's in a it. couple of weeks. That's it. A video newsletter, if you that's will. That's it. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Bye.